Throughout this story, there have been different styles of music, many of them very weird and unlistenable. But no one has ever combined black metal dungeon scene with Gaver. Yes, I know, maybe it's the most random shit you've ever had. Mix the mysterious darkness of black metal with something as different as Gaver is not for everyone. And I don't gonna lie, some good in some ways. If you wanna feel like a wizard in a castle, you should give it a listen. Like, come on, bro, wizards are always cool. I'm 100% sure that you love techno and dungeons. In. Even if you don't like it, I'm sure you play a game with this music playing in the background. And for some reason, people love color scenes. Like, just look at the comments. Shit goes crazy. If goblins world are a rave party, this world be it. Da, вот это то, что я искал. Who's watching this in 1968? Matt says he's mixing some pus and conditioner, thinking he was making a potion. After a quick investigation, I found that it seems to originate from parts of the local black metal scene in Sorland, Germany, where the god of color scene was born. Andreas Bettinger, aka BSOD. Black Son of Darkness is a multi-instrumentalist born in 1980 who along his life had a lot of bands and projects, more than 20 to be specific. Some of the most famous are Trollheim, Rausam Kate and Heroin Makes Happy where he usually play rock black metal and dungeon synth. Also, let me tell you that he was not a good boy, since he has 147 offenses on his police record. I know, you maybe think that this is nothing unusual in black metal, but bro, 147 offenses and 145 of them related to drugs? I mean, what you're into, that's a lot dude. And you know what, it's nothing weird, coming from a guy who advocates the use of heroin, you can expect anything. You just have to see what he wrote on one of his album covers. Heroin, it's not dangerous. It's a passion. So as you can see, this man has been the biggest inspiration to create Keller Synth. But you may be wondering who created the term of Keller Synth. If you search a little on internet, you will find that the pioneer is a guy called Siegfried, who has many projects and came up with the name of Keller Synth in recent years. And there's another guy which is not much information, he's called Hexenmeister and he's the one who has the most famous songs. Recently, the channel has become popular, with many projects out there. This has made Keller Scene songs on TikTok, and now there are a lot of cringe videos that I wanna show you. Yeah. <laughs> 
you have seen some colors in covers, you'll notice that they have this strange creature on them. Let's find out what it is. No was the Headless Men or Plymis, they were apparently mythological creatures that inhabited remote parts of the eastern desert in the middle ages. Plymis are said to occur in two types, with the eyes on the chest or the eyes on the shoulders. So this is the creature we actually see. He doesn't wear a wizard hat and it has nothing to do with black metal. I always wonder if people listen to this seriously. I imagine them all dressing like this and living in the forest doing spells in their free time. And to be honest, I don't know how far this goes, because this type of music sounds like a meme. So well, if you like which music and aesthetics, this is for you.